Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing the installation of the shroud for my Flux HP by Dusty Motors and also the RPM center skid plate because it's pointless to put the shroud on if you don't cover up your under carriage there. Uh, this, I ordered this straight from Dusty Motors. So it comes in. Got your Velcro, uh, a couple of stickers. Here is the shroud. It's already got the Velcro on that side. This is just for sticking around your battery boxes and stuff. And it has a zipper. So that you can still access, plug in your wires, get to your ESC and stuff. Turn the truck on. Put your batteries in probably, I imagine. So, we'll have a look at it. Okay, uh, it did not come with any instructions. Uh, but Dusty Motors does have a video up on YouTube. I'll link to it when I post this video up. But uh, it just shows to apply some... Velcro, you cut into strips, apply to the bottom of your battery boxes here. Um, there's still going to be room for stuff to get up in there as far as snow and stuff like that. This material is supposed to whisk away water, but uh, it's not going to completely waterproof your electronics, but it should definitely keep some of the stuff out, I'd hope. Uh, I'll definitely be testing that. But uh, I'm going to take some alcohol, just rub my alcohol, clean up my battery boxes, get the dust off of them, cut my strips, apply it, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so they definitely gave you plenty of Velcro. Uh, you can see that I applied it here, here, and here. Just three little strips across the battery boxes. Uh, I'll put the shroud on here and we'll see what it's like. So here it is fully installed. Uh, all it is is these little velcro strips underneath like I showed you. There's nothing up here. There's a little bit of elastic on to kind of suck it down around the TVP but there's nothing really to hold it on there. Maybe I could put a little strip there on this back uh, arm that comes off of to hold your battery box. I could, I guess I'll probably put a little piece there on each side but on on the front and on the rear of your battery boxes you can do that. That'll help seal it up a little more but there's definitely you know stuff can still get up in there. Uh, I guess the only way I'll find out is when I'm running it. It does unzip and you can you know hook everything up, turn on your ESC and stuff, but uh, I don't think putting a battery in is going to be very much fun. So I guess it'd be something where you take it off, put the battery in. You probably could do it. Uh, just seems like more of a hassle. Uh, but definitely, I need to put just a tiny little strip on the front up here. Uh, this little bracket that holds your battery box on. I'll put a little piece there. I mean you could put one up here but then you'd be up against that screw and every time you had to tear your truck apart you'd be doing that. But I'll put a little strip there and maybe that'll seal it up a little bit better. There's elastic on here so it holds it down a little bit but well I guess we'll only know after I run it so
Well, that's what happens when you're running when it's this cold out. <laughs> Let's take her off and have a look and see what it looks like inside. As you can see, there's still some that got up in there, as I thought. All over the ESC. You see that it's going to come in through here and up along the edges here. But I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> 